Welcome back to Patio Cooking. Today we're doing that easy Mexican cornbread. Let's get started. Fall is finally here. It's cooling down. What better side dish than a cheesy Mexican cornbread that goes good with anything. I'm telling you this stuff is so good even a picky child will like it and it's super easy to do. I'm about to show you how I make it. First thing you're going to do is just to get one of these little bowls right here, a little mixing bowl. All right to a large mixing bowl I got two large jalapenos. You're going to want a half of a large onion. All right so once you get your onions and peppers finely diced up we're going to take this over to our uh, eight inch cast iron skillet and get these vegetables sauteed. I just want to soften these vegetables up just a little bit. I don't like any crunch in my cornbread but if you like that you can just put them in there raw. It'll work just fine. Do what you want to do. So let's get over to this cast iron skillet and cook these vegetables up. All right so I got my pit boss preheated to 375 because that's what we're baking this cornbread on. But to that I got an eight inch cast iron skillet right here and what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil down here. We're just going to get these veggies cooked down just a little bit. Y'all hear that sizzle? Oh yeah these things are going to be real good. Guaranteed. I haven't seen an ice cream man in 30 years and now we're trying to make this video. Here he comes. Can y'all believe this? It just is what it is. Let's get back to cooking these veggies. All right, so y'all see that I got this eight inch here, hot, hot, and I'm just cooking these veggies down just a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna let them go just a little bit longer, but I'm gonna scoot them off the direct heat just like that. We're gonna shut this thing down. We're gonna get back over here and get our cornbread mix on. All right, so while we let these vegetables saute and cook down just a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and start that cornbread mix. Let's get it. All right to your mixing bowl I just got some of this Martha White pre-mixed cornbread and we're just gonna put two cups in. Look if you're a purist on all this stuff and you're like man I'm never gonna use no cornbread mix. Look, you can do it if you want to. It's just equal parts corn, like yellow cornmeal and flour. Whatever kind of leavening agent that you want to use, whether it be baking soda, baking powder, whatever. But I don't really do a whole lot with meal. So, I mean, I'm just going to buy this cornbread mix already done. So anyway, back to it. So now that we got our two cups of cornmeal in this bowl, we're just going to go in. We're going to start off with one cup of just regular milk and we're going to give it a little mix. We're looking for a consistency like pancake batter. So we're gonna go in with another quarter cup. All right, so we did a cup and a quarter of milk. We're just gonna give this a real good mix. And that's about the consistency that I want. Y'all see that right there. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And to that, we're just gonna add a half a stick of butter. All right, now we got one whole can of cream corn going in. I know it's sounding weird, but it's gonna turn out real good, I guarantee it. Then we're just gonna add just a softened block of cream cheese, just like that. Probably be easier if you cut it up, but we're not doing it it's soft enough. We're gonna work it around. We want this thing being real cheesy. This is gonna give it that real good, moist texture. When you bite into that cornbread, you can be like, mm, lips smack. I got eight ounces sharp cheddar cheese going in. Ooh, get all that cheese. All right, now that we got all this mixed in, our veggies should be done. We're gonna bring them over here and dump them in too. So these vegetables are smelling real good. Let's go ahead and get them in the bowl. We just got them cooked down just a little bit. Y'all can't beat, I'm telling you, you can't beat that cast iron. Look how clean that is. You can't beat that. If y'all like to use cast iron, let me know in the comments. I love this stuff. All right, let's just stir these veggies in. So now I got a 10 inch Dutch oven right here. And the only thing I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna stick this in the grill for about 10 minutes, just so it's just a little warm. You should be able to touch this thing and pick it up with no gloves or nothing. You just want to get it to where that butter is going to melt all around when you when you rub it in this pan. So anyway, it takes about 10 minutes on 350, 375, and then we'll come right back. So 10 minutes, we got our cast iron preheated. What we're going to do now is we're just going to give it a little rub. Make sure you get the sides too. This butter is going to help this thing brown up real good and help it not to stick. Oh yeah. Ain't nothing about this healthy. So if you're trying to, you know, cut back on the butter, you might as well just give it up. All right, now we got that thing greased up real good. We're just going to go ahead and add it in. Ooh, cheesy. You can go ahead, you could eat this right now if you just really wanted to. I mean, I wouldn't advise it, but I mean, it is smelling something real good. So now we're just gonna spread it out just like that. Now that we got this stuff spread it out evenly in this uh, Dutch oven, we're gonna bring it over to the grill and we're gonna get this thing cooking. All right, get your grill preheated to 375 or oven. This works in both. You can even do it on a Weber kettle. I've done this many a times that way. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put it all the way to this side, put our lid on, and we're gonna rotate this thing every 15 minutes. This thing's probably gonna cook for 30, to 45 minutes. We'll come back. All right, so it's been exactly 50 minutes right now. It took a little longer than we thought. Let's check on this cornbread. I'm pretty sure it's done now. Oh yeah, look at that cornbread. You can see right around the edges how it's lifted away from the cast iron. And when I shake it like this, there's no jiggle in the center. 
That's how I know that this cornbread is done. We're gonna do one last thing to this thing, and we're just gonna take a little glob of butter just like this, and we're just gonna smear it around. We got all the butter laid down on the cornbread. We got this thing uncovered. We're gonna give it 10 more minutes, and this thing will be ready to eat. Stay with me. 10 minutes, we're done. We pulled it off the grill. Check this cornbread out. Whew. We got those good crispy edges. It's super moist, and that's what we're looking for with a Mexican cornbread. An extremely moist, cakey-like bread that's just gonna melt in your mouth. I'm telling you, let's cut into this thing and see what it looks like. You know what, let's see if we can dump it on the board. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get this thing turned back over without completely destroying it. This is where it takes the skill right here. Oh yeah. Just like that. And that's what you want with cornbread right there. Oh, you got the nice crispy edge as y'all can see. And I know when we cut into this thing, it's about to be super moist. Let's go ahead and show y'all this. Oh, crunchy. Oh yeah. Cheesy, creamy. That beautiful Mexican cornbread. Now that we got this thing cut, y'all seen it. All we gotta do now is give this thing a try. Oh man, yes. It is smoking hot. Ooh. You cannot beat a creamy cornbread like that. I'm telling y'all, give this thing a try. Your mama's gonna like it. The kids are gonna like it. Everybody in the house is gonna like it, guaranteed. It's moist, creamy. I've talked enough about it. Y'all go try this thing. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, help the channel grow. Thanks for watching. Till next time.